base is really big. No, honestly, trust me, it is. It has a lot of space. Distance. Distance and vastness and incomprehensible expanses comprised of a lack of anything, really. The cosmos can be described with one word. Space. Of course, one must admit that there are galaxies with billions of stars and planets and nebula and various other intergalactic items. However, this gargantuan void all comes down to one thing. The distances are very hard to comprehend, if not nearly impossible. All of us are collectively pretty good at estimating sizes of things like mailboxes, cars, or buildings, and perceiving terrestrial linear distances such as a journey to a weekend vacation. Once we get past relatable expanses and venture into outer space, measuring distance with light speed or the light year, which as it turns out is how far light travels in a year, begins to fade into a realm of bewilderment we would rather not admit. How far light travels in a year is just really hard to process. A light year is 5.9 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers, which is slightly difficult to grasp. Let's see if we can fix that. The distance from the Sun to the Earth is approximately 93 million miles. This trip would take 8.5 minutes at light speed traveling along at 186,000 miles per second. However, if you would rather take a plane traveling at 600 miles an hour, the journey would take almost 18 years. So, 93 million miles is inherently difficult to comprehend. Let's put it this way. If the sun were the size of a basketball, the earth would be the size of a grape seed and would be almost a hundred feet away. That we can comprehend. 93 million miles, we cannot. In the world of astronomy, the average distance from the earth to the sun is used as a singular measurement and is called one astronomical unit. So, using the Earth to the Sun distance as a unit of one, the planet Jupiter, rather than being expressed as 461 million miles from the Sun, can be more easily described as approximately 5.2 astronomical units, or a little more than five Earth distances. Using the basketball and Earth as a grape seed distance comparison, this would place Jupiter approximately 500 feet from the basketball. Saturn is 10 astronomical units, or Earth spaces. Uranus is approximately 19 astronomical units, and Neptune is way out there with 30. With the Sun the size of a basketball, Neptune, at 30 astronomical units, is 3,000 feet away or over half a mile, or close to a kilometer. That makes more sense. So, leaving the sun the size of a basketball, let's swing by the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. There are three stars in this group. Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and a smaller one, Proxima Centauri, which is the closest. These three are approximately four and a quarter light years away, or in miles, only 25 trillion, 277 billion, 549 million, 201,103 miles. Which is, you guessed it, hard to comprehend. So our sun, if still the size of a basketball, was in Chicago, at this scale, the Alpha Centauri system would be located in London. Rather than attempting to decode and comprehend the meaning of over 25 trillion miles, or 4.3 light years, in a similar fashion to the Earth to the Sun astronomical unit of measurement, 
Let's create a new measurement and call this distance one interstellar unit or one Sun to Alpha Centauri unit. With the distance to our nearest neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri, being expressed as one interstellar unit, let's take a trip to another nearby star, Sirius A, which is located 8.6 light years from Earth or 11 trillion 760 billion miles away. More easily measured in our new interstellar units, Sirius A is 2 interstellar units away or twice as far from us as Alpha Centauri. So, continuing with our handy Sun is a basketball sports equipment size reference, Sirius A being approximately twice the size of our Sun would be the size of a beach ball. At this scale, our hydrogen-powered beach ball, assuming our Sun the basketball is still stuck in Chicago, would be located in Mongolia. And here is the second new approach in measuring the cosmos. This new way to perceive intergalactic space will be more geared to measuring the entire universe. At over 5 trillion miles per light year, the light year again makes for a patently incomprehensible measuring tool for most of us with respect to the universe. The nearest galaxy to ours is Andromeda. Speaking of big, Andromeda is twice the size of our galaxy, the Milky Way, coming in at 150,000 light years in diameter. If you're in a location with a dark sky, Andromeda is twice the apparent width of the moon. This is quite impressive, considering Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away from where you are sitting. Even at 2.5 million light years away, Andromeda is relatively close from a galactic standpoint. If we imagine the distance to Andromeda using more handy sports equipment and a household object, if the Milky Way were the size of a frisbee, Andromeda would be a garbage can lid and would be about 30 feet away. And there we have it, the second measurement. The distance from the Milky Way to Andromeda could be called one intergalactic unit or one distance from the Milky Way to Andromeda. We can now measure distances between galaxies with this unit. This is IC 1101, the largest known galaxy. Comprised of a trillion stars, give or take, IC 1101 is 1.1 billion light years away. The light from this galaxy we see in a telescope today began its journey before life on this planet was even a consideration. So, way out there. At our Milky Way is a Frisbee scale, IC 1101 would be six and a half feet in diameter and would be two and a half miles away. Or, 440 intergalactic units, or 440 times farther than we are from the Andromeda Galaxy. There's the idea. Since the Earth to the Sun is one astronomical unit, the Sun to Alpha Centauri could be one interstellar unit, and from the Milky Way to Andromeda would make more sense if it was called one intergalactic unit. The astronomical unit is widely used in the community of astronomers. The second two logical perceptions of distance would make a little more sense for everyone else when planning your next trip around the cosmos.